not just looking like a snack, I'm looking like a goddamn chicken nugget. Hey guys, it's Annika. Welcome to my Chonica. My hair is a fucking mess right now, and I'm really suicidal, like actually. Today, I asked on my public spam account, which y'all should go follow if you don't follow it already. It's AniCunt.spams. It'll be on the screen right now. But I asked you guys what video you wanted to see. I'm going out, just like running errands and stuff, and I wanted to do my makeup, but I might as well just film a fucking tutorial. I don't know, I'm getting really off topic, but a lot of you guys said my camera's too high up. A lot of you guys said that you wanted to see a like cranberry holiday look and so I decided to do one of those. I also asked you guys whether you wanted to see it with my ColourPop single eyeshadows or the Huda Beauty rose gold palette. The winner was the Huda Beauty rose gold palette. So if you want to feel more included in those decisions, follow AniCunt.spams. And yeah, a bitch is out of fucking breath, honestly. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know like where I'm going to start. I like, don't even know like what my plan is. Am I going to do all matte? Am I going to like kill myself? It's fine. Like I'm fine. Ew, I have a pimple. I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I'm gonna put that on my eyelid. Okay, let's see. What is there to talk about? Where's my fucking beauty sponge? Esconja. Oh my god. Okay, so for my Spanish class, our final project, because my semesters are really short, so we're at the end of our semester right now. We're on a semester break. For the end of the semester, we had to do a final project, as most places do. And we had to film a tutorial, and we needed to make use of, like, the subjunctive and mandatos and shit. So I was like, okay, what tutorials am I best at? So obviously, I didn't make a tutorial. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Peach Blur Powder just to set this really fast. And everybody in my class, everybody in my goddamn fucking school knows about my YouTube channel, even though I didn't tell anyone. It just kind of, I don't know, I guess everybody just kind of found out. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna do a makeup tutorial, and it was such a joke. Um, but everybody was telling me that I should post it. Like, everybody in my school was telling me I should post the tutorial. So let me know if you guys want me to post my all Spanish makeup tutorial. It's pretty funny. And yeah, so we're gonna be diving in to the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. I'm gonna start with this shade Shine. Dusty pink color. Once again, I have no fucking clue where I'm going with this look. I'm completely and utterly bullshitting it. How has your guys' day been? How's your guys' like week been? I feel like I haven't really been posting regularly, especially since it's been like the end of semester for me, so I've been really, really overwhelmed. But I'm trying to um, get back into posting again, and I have a really nice five day weekend because it's the semester break, and I'm gonna try and film a lot of videos. I'm taking the scone um, ending brush. Also, I wanted to update you guys on my lip. I'm gonna take the shade. I don't know. I think I'm gonna take the shade Man Eater. This is like the most delicious freaking cranberry shade. It looks really red on camera, but it's so I want to like actually shove it up my ass. It's so pretty. Okay, so I've decided to get into bullet journaling. And if you don't know where bullet journaling is, it's kind of like just aesthetic journaling. Like it's what you see all over Tumblr when people are like doing journals and shit. It's a little bit more complex than that, but that's essentially the gist of it. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, specifically from this one YouTuber named Amanda Rach Lee, I think. And oh my god, I'm so obsessed. So I'm going to Michael's to get some like calligraphy supplies and some markers and shit and I'm just really excited because I feel like this will be a good creative outlet and also a really good just like, therapeutic outlet for me to talk about my life instead of like ranting on my personal spam account and just ranting to all of my friends who don't really give a fuck it's good for many many things I'm into it honestly like, am I gonna do an all matte look am I gonna put matte on my eyelid oh, I don't freaking know mm. <laughs> I'm going back in with shy and man eater and just kind of mixing those together I was gonna do an October shits and hits this month but honestly Honestly, I've been doing the same exact makeup look every single day and since I haven't really been posting I haven't really gotten the chance to try out some new products So I'm not gonna be doing an October shits and hits this month But I will be doing a November shits and hits because I'm trying to try out new products and I've just gone shopping and shit So and now I'm gonna take the shade bossy which is like a deep It's almost brown, but it has a little bit of purple in it. I'm using that to deepen out the outer corner I want to change brushes. I'm gonna take my Furless Cosmetics ME brush It's just a really really tiny brush going back in with bossy like that we just took and you know deepening it up I love cranberry eye looks, especially for like this time of year. Not just for fall, but also for winter. They're some of my favorite winter looks to do. I just think they're so pretty and like really embody the holiday season. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into the shade Shy, really light pink, and blending out the edges. Okay, so I've decided that I want to do a color on the inner part of the lid just because like I don't know why the hell not. So I think I'm gonna take the shade Fling just so I can make it like all one shade, like not something lighter on the lid. And I lost my pinky nail, so good time to utilize my pinky finger. Oh my god, this is so pretty. But like, do you see what I mean? It's like a monotone look. I love monochromatic looks so much. Let me know if you guys want me to do like more of them because they're some of my favorite looks to do. We're gonna need to like clean up in the inner corners because that looks ugly. Oof. We're gonna take a break for the eyes. That was actually a really, really fast look even though it took me fucking nine minutes to film. Awesome. Yeah, boy. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our face. 
I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take the Menzoki Matte Hydrating Jelly. This is my favorite primer, and I just rediscovered it. It fills in your pores, it hydrates, and then it also gives you a matte look. I like my face to be super matte, but I don't like it to feel matte. I like it to feel hydrated. So, yeah. And then on the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick because I'm just trying to hydrate myself, girl. We ain't got time for no crusty ass. For foundation, I'm going to be using a really light, like, hydrating foundation. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. I think this is the flawless finish foundation in the shade porcelain. I fucking hate how it doesn't say the name of the foundation on the bottle. It bugs me. But I'm gonna do like a full pump. I'm gonna take my really not wet beauty blender or Real Technique sponge and dragging that on my face. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a video about my bullet journal because I posted a lot about it on my public spam account and you guys seem really, really interested. But like, I don't know if you guys want to see that. It's okay if you don't. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to give the people what they want, you know? I live to please. And I'm also going to be doing my eyebrows after my foundation today because usually I do them before, but then I always get like a little ring of like there's no foundation right where my eyebrows are. So I'm just trying to go over my eyebrows. I'm going to take the Colourpop No Filter concealer. I've been really into this concealer. Like, it's actually my fetish. Like, I love it. It dries really fast, though, so I like to do my under eyes, blend that in, and then highlight the high points on my face. And I'm going carefully around the eyeshadow, kind of giving it a sharper look, but, like, not too defined. But I forgot that the Sephora 20 whatever days of beauty is... Or, no, not the Sephora 20 days of beauty. The Sephora VIB sale is out. I'm trying to decide if I should get anything. I kind of wanted to get, like, another Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I ran out of that a while ago, and I loved that shit, but honestly, Honestly, I don't think I care enough. There's nothing that like I really want. Honestly, right now I'm kind of content with my makeup collection. Like the only thing that I really want is like a true cranberry lipstick, like something that would match this look. But I have something that will like kind of work for that. I'm gonna set using the Cody Airspun powder. I wish this were cruelty free, guys. I just it makes me really mad every time I use it. I'm like, God damn it, why can't you be cruelty free? Dumb fucking bitches. Any company that's not cruelty free, honestly, is really dumb because they could get so many more sales if they just went cruelty free. Like it would just it would benefit them more than it would harm them, you know? And it's not like Cody sells in China, so it's not like they would be, like, losing profit because they can't sell in a specific country. And also, it's not that much more expensive to test on something else other than animals, so just get over yourself. I'm gonna brush it away with my Sigma F20 brush. Not really baking, because I really left that on for, like, one second, but this would be, like, a good makeup look for Thanksgiving if you were doing something nice and fancy, unlike me, because I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Man Eater. I'm gonna start with Shy. I need, like, a transition shade on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna go into Man Eater in a set. Now Man Eater. Lit. Okay, this actually doesn't look half bad. I had really low expectations, I'll be honest with you, but I'm really pleased with the way that it came out. I mean, we're not done yet. I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I will be right back. So I filled in my eyebrows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I kind of want to use my Tarte Lifted Mascara. Even though it's brown, I just feel like the brown will look really good with this look. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. I got this like small version in my Ipsy Bay. It's like a really, really deep brown. It's almost black. Of course, if you were like wearing this for like a fancy event, like if you're going to fucking like church or some shit, I don't know. I would personally go with fake lashes, but I'm going to Michael's. So yeah, <laughs> you guys know applying mascara is a very spiritual experience for me. So it takes me like an hour to do my mascara. So I'll be back when it's done. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I really do like that mascara. I feel like I would use it a lot more if it were black, but I really like the brown, especially with this look. I think I'm gonna take the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner, or Creme Gel Eyeliner in the shade Overboard. Wish that I had like a brown color, but I just, I never really buy like cream eyeliners in like interesting colors because when would I ever need them? But I guess, point proven right here. I'm going to bronze my face using the Precision Formula Butter Bronzer, which no fucking surprise there. I've been using this literally every single day. Every single time that I wear bronzer, I use that bronzer and I barely made a dent in it. And I've been using it for like maybe six months. We're gonna blue shit up in this bitch. Why don't I have any maroon blushes? I want to end my life. Okay, wait, maybe I'll use my Dallas No. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this. This is Too Faced Left Blush Blush in the shade Your Love is King. I haven't really been wearing blush recently because I usually do like natural looks but when I do do blush you do ha <laughs> get it because like shit I like to like you know match it especially since we're doing a monochromatic look 
Alrighty, for a highlight, I really want to use my Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I've been freaking obsessed with this recently. I'm trying to decide if I should use a gumdrop, which is definitely more of like a duochrome like pink shade. Can't even see it. Or if I should use Starburst. Bottom one is gumdrop, the top one is Starburst. I honestly think I might just mix them together. They're both very pink toned shades. I love this glow kit so much. I'm so happy that I got it. I don't know if it's limited edition, but it probably is, and I would snatch it while you can, girl, because this shit is bomb. I'm gonna take the Morphe M501 brush. I am going to do lipstick, but I do want to set my face really quick. I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have this mini size. And then a nice little life hack. Take the little sleeve from the glow kit, and these are perfect to fan yourself with. They're just like literally the perfect thing to do it with. I hate doing it with palettes, honestly, because I always feel like the palette is going to fly out of my hand, and I have like such intense anxiety when I do it, so. Okay, wait, actually, I want to do my inner corner with just the gum and drop shade. Okay, now I'm trying to decide on a lip color because I don't really have a lipstick that's like exactly this color and I want to find one that's like as close as it can get. That one's a little bit too red, but it might be the best that we can get. I'm gonna line my lips using the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in the shade A Girl's Dream. These are retractable. I suck at doing lipstick. Honestly, I like just this as like a lipstick, but... It is pretty like transferable. So I'm gonna go over top with the Kaylin Extreme Matte Tint Plus Velvet in the shade 48. Y'all know Kaylin lipsticks are my favorite lipsticks of all time. And yeah, this is the final look. I really, really like how it turned out. Actually, I love monochromatic eye looks, especially like with a similar lip color. But like, I really like this look and I would actually wear it out. So let me know if you guys like it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on cranberrying. <laughs> you the best but you already have